In today's video, we're going over how to move pictures and video from your internal storage to a micro SD card. Hey guys, first of all, thank you for joining us. Second of all, if it's your first time watching one of our videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications by hitting the little bell so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. The third thing is, in the description down below, we're gonna have a couple of cool things for you. If you haven't picked up a case for your phone yet or a screen protector, uh, go down in the description and you'll see two little sections where you can find some great cases and great screen protectors to make sure you keep your CoolPad legacy protected. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go to the Play Store and download this app. It's called Gallery No Ads. We're gonna go to the Play Store and we're going to do a quick search. Now, I'm going to show you the app because it's weird. The icon looks one way in the store, and then when you download it, it looks different. So I just want to make sure you guys know what you're looking for. So you're going to type in gallery, no ads. I already have it in the search. Look for this app. It's a blue background with a yellow flower. And you're going to download this app. Once you download it, this app is what's going to show up on your screen. So just so you know, go ahead and tap on this app right here. Now, the first thing we're going to do to move a picture or a video is we need to create a folder on the memory card to move everything to. So what you're going to do, go to the upper right corner, click on the three dots. You're going to go down to create new folder. Tap on the internal button up here. Tap on SD card. And then press OK. And now we're going to name the folder. So I'm going to name this. Um, SD card picks. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name it SD card picks. Press OK. Now we have our new folder, and now I can tap on the camera folder. This is where all our current pictures are being stored. I can tap on that. I can hold down to select one picture or multiple pictures in case you don't want to move everything, or if you wanted to move every picture just to free up as much space as you can. Uh, go to the upper right corner, click on the three dots, go down to select all. So it'll take every picture and video in that folder, and then go back to the three dots and go down to move, and then tap on the uh, new folder, which is SD card picks, and it's moving. So you're going to give it a little bit of time. It's going to load, and the picture should then um, disappear from this folder, and they're going to show up in that new folder. Now there are a couple of videos in there so that probably will make it take just a little bit longer so uh, be patient in this step and just let it run its course. All right, so the files have been successfully moved and now all our pictures are in our SD card picks folder. Now, what's kind of funny is that it the the old folder disappeared because there were no pictures in it. So, you're probably saying, "What happened to my old camera folder?" Well, this is really easy. We can just take a picture right now and that folder should show up again. And we'll give it a second, but that uh, new picture should show up. Let's actually take one more. Oh yeah, so here's that new picture right there. Tap on gallery. So there's that new picture. I think it might be taking a second for it to save. So anyway, I wouldn't worry about it. It will show up in a new folder right here. And um, that's where you'll have that picture. Now the last tweak you may wanna make is, let me see if I can find it first. Okay, so it automatically does it, which is great. Once you put a memory card in the camera, it will automatically change the storage from the internal storage to an SD card. So any picture you take going forward, is gonna save on the memory card in that new folder we just created. So actually that's why the picture is not showing up in that old folder. Everything is gonna show up now in the new folder that we just created called SD Picks. 
So it just makes more sense for it to be there and not taking up space on your cool pet legacy. So anyway, guys, this has been our quick video. Hope you did find it helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Uh, if you found it helpful, leave a comment down below as well. We always love your feedback. And uh, if there's any more videos you want to see, leave it in the comment section down below. And check out our other site, H2 Tech Videos. Uh, you will find a bunch of other cool pad legacy videos um, on that site as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care and have a good one.